Good morning, everyone. Today is the 8th of March. Hope you're having a good day today. Today, my son is 47 years old. Today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Mark. Well, we're told in Scripture that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23, 7, For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. A wise man's heart is at his right hand, but a fool's heart is at his left. Ecclesiastes 10, 2. Well, you know, <clears throat> as many of you know, my son was diagnosed with a brain disease back then when he was 17 and it's been a strange journey to see how differently Mark's mind works than our minds work but you know ultimately our thoughts come from God I used to work I worked um, for a while in a hospital with people that had brain situations. Now I know why God put me in that hospital. But one of the units I worked on for a while was the autism unit, people with autism. And uh, it was amazing because some of those people with autism sit and rock all day in a rocking chair all day long that's all they would do and then there were high functioning people with autism that were probably smarter than you and I um, the brain is a very strange instrument the way that it works but we need to realize that all thoughts ultimately come from either Satan or God himself. Now God is over Satan, but I mean the fact is that <clears throat> when we look at our thoughts as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. There's a scripture that says that all men have not faith. Ideas, thoughts, and beliefs make up the content of our life. What you believe comes from somewhere. So where do you get your beliefs, your ideas, and your thoughts? Is it merely a compilation of a universal mind? Thoughts, beliefs, and ideas come from one of three sources, man, God, or Satan. You say, well, that sounds like free will. Well, if a person is dead in their trespasses and sin, they've not been born again. They don't have the Holy Spirit residing in them. It says in James, when a man is drawn away of his own lust and enticed, How does one determine which of these three sources these ideas, thoughts, and beliefs are coming from? Well, the answer is determined whether one has been born again by the Spirit of God. We're told when a person's born again that behold, all things have become new. That he's translated us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear Son. If a person is still dead in their trespasses and sin, they're not going to think on things above. If one is born again by the Spirit of God, all things have be, been made new. The person born again has been translated in the kingdom of God's dear Son, and now his thoughts are under the direction of the Holy Spirit. 
What a blessing to the child of God to know that his thoughts, ideas, and beliefs are now under the master's control and are directed by God's word. Well, a good man out of the treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. An evil man out of the treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart is his mouth speaketh. You know, it doesn't take too long that you, when you're around someone, you can tell where their thoughts and their minds are at. When Solomon was old, came to pass when Solomon was old that his wives turned away his heart after other gods and his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God as was the heart of David his father other people can have a tremendous influence on another person here we see that it was when Solomon was old that his wives turned away his heart after other gods and his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God Well, a, heart, a man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. Proverbs 16, 9. Remember what happened to Nebuchadnezzar? Daniel 4, 16 says, Let his heart be changed from man's, and let a beast heart be given unto him and let seven times pass over him. He had seven years that he had a, the heart of a beast. Well, I'm glad to know that we have been given a new heart. That's not to say that we still don't struggle with sin, but we have the Holy Spirit residing in us if we're one of His. Proverbs 25, 20 verse 5 says, Counsel in the heart of a man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Proverbs 12, 8, A man shall be commended according to his wisdom, but he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised. Proverbs 28, 14, Happy is the man that feareth always, but he that hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief. Proverbs 14, 14, The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways, and a good man shall be satisfied from himself. Well, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You know, God is the one who breathes the breath of spiritual life into his elect. The only way one can have truth is to have it be revealed to them quickened by the Holy Spirit. Do you believe that? Do you believe the only way that you can have uh, spiritual life is to be quickened and born again. The Bible says in John 3, you must be born again. The Spirit bloweth where it listeth, and no man knoweth the sound thereof. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit of God. And applied by the blood of the Lamb. If, if man is dead in his trespass and his sins, Christ said you must be born again until this happens. No truth is revealed in him. But when one is born again, the truth of the gospel is embraced and cherished. The believer realizes then they will never perish. For they are foreknown, called, blood-bought, and elected from above, and, and have been given God's eternal love.
Have you been given the Spirit of God? Have you been born again by the Spirit of God? Are His thoughts our thoughts? Well, that's been on my mind this morning. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. May the good Lord be with you today, and may you have his thoughts today, and think on things above. God bless.